Hello, third grade. Happy Thursday. We are continuing with reading passages and answering questions about them. So today we're just going to be focus focusing on reading passages about sports and hobbies. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, read our text and then answer three questions about each text. So today we're reading about diving. People have always enjoyed diving into water, but it wasn't until the early 1900s that diving became an Olympic sport. Back then, plain diving and fancy diving were the two main types of diving. Doing a simple dive into water was called plain diving. Meanwhile, fancy diving was when divers did flips as they jumped. Early divers jumped off wooden planks or wide boards. These boards were rigged, so it was hard for divers to jump high. But diving boards today have a lot more bounce. This means that divers can jump higher and do fancier moves. Also, there are now many more kinds of diving in the Olympics. The sport of diving has changed a lot over the years, but what has not changed is how much people enjoy watching this amazing sport. So now let's look at our question. In the past, what is it called when divers dove into water without doing any tricks? So it was up here when we found it. Doing a simple dive into the water was called plain diving. So that means they were not doing any any tricks, they were just diving in. So right here we see plain diving, and they have, let's see if that's one of our options, high diving, fancy diving, plain diving. So this one, they said fancy diving is when you do the tricks, and high diving, they didn't say anything about high diving. But we looked back at our text and we found the answer right here. So we know that this is the right one. And we got it. So let's see the next one. So now we're reviewing the text. So let's read our question and all of our options. Based on the text, how are diving boards different from early diving boards? Today's diving boards can bounce a lot more. Today's diving boards are made out of wood. Today's diving boards can be used for plain or fancy diving. Well, let's look into our second paragraph. It said early divers jumped off wooden plaques or wide boards. So that was before they had uh, they had um, diving boards of wood. They don't have that anymore. So this one, we can say it's not this one for sure. These boards were rigged, so it was hard for divers to jump high. But diving boards today have a lot more bounce. So that's how they're saying it's different from today. Back in the day, it didn't bounce as much, but today the diving boards do bounce a lot more. So this one we can be confident in because we also found the answer here. And used today's diving boards can be used for plain or fancy diving. Also back then those boards were used for plain or fancy diving as well. So that wouldn't mean, that wouldn't be different. All right, and then our last one. So then the last one we're always doing with a word in bold and figuring out what does it mean. So what is the meaning of rigged it's in the text? Not safe to walk on, not easy to make, not able to move. Well, let's see. These boards were rigged, so it was hard for jumpers to jump high. But diving boards today have a lot more bounce. So back then, they didn't have a lot, a lot of bounce. So which one would make the most sense? Not safe to walk on. Well, they walked on it, and they dove off of it, so that wouldn't be the right one not easy to make. They didn't say anything about making it, but then not able to move. So they were saying how nowadays diving boards do have a bounce, but back then they didn't. So this would make the most sense that it wasn't able to move as much, bounce as much. So that is it for today. So just make sure to take your time talking through each problem and making sure that you're confident in your answers. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye third grade.